In your announcement today, you are keeping the rate unchanged, but you are extending the QE program and expanding it into corporate bonds. What's behind that decision? Uh, we have... Uh we came to the conclusion, looking at what we did in, in late April, that the QE that we have done has worked well so far. Uh, but it's not over yet. So to be on the safe side, uh, we decided to do more QE. And that also includes corporate bonds. And that's because the corporate bond market in this country has been growing for the past 15, 20 years or something like that. So the, the structure of the Swedish financial sector is such that it makes sense for us to also uh, move into corporate debt. This is something totally new for you. Uh, can you give us any further hints on or details regarding the purchases of corporate bonds? Well, it's, it's, it's a bit too early to tell. We'll start, uh, uh, we're, we'll start in September and then we'll keep going and we'll see what, uh, see what happens. And uh, we are a bit, we'll move a, a little bit slowly when it comes to that because it's a completely new market. But still we feel that it's important for us to be there because that sends, uh, sends a signal. Uh, that we are ready to, if need be, to scale up. And uh, that's why we are moving in this direction. And this is, by the way, also something that we announced already in April. Uh, but then it has taken a while to grapple with the technical details to, to get all the systems in order. And you are initially buying 10 billion mm -hmm. uh, Swedish kroner. Uh, would, would you like to scale up? It's too early to tell. That's not, not, that's not a large amount given the size of the market. But on the other hand, it gives us the opportunity to scale up if we have to scale up. If, if uh, something is going on in the Swedish economy that uh, sends the signal that it would make sense for us to, to scale up. But we do think it's an important signal, uh, despite the low amount, for us to, uh, to be there. And uh, so far, our experience when it comes to uh, buying uh, corporate CDs has been pretty good. Uh, so... From a signaling point of view, it makes sense. And you're again engaging consultants from BlackRock to do some analysis. Um, what do you need uh, from them to explore? Well, uh, there are many, of course, who can do this type of analysis, but it's hard to find uh, people from, from within the Swedish financial sector who can do this because they're already employed everywhere uh, by, by others. And uh, we need to uh, get... We need to use BlackRock's competence when it comes to doing these types of transactions and it's helpful for us to, uh, to do them so that eventually we can, we can internalize all of this and, and uh, run it in-house. Would you even consider outsourcing the corporate bond purchases? Uh, that's not an issue as of, uh, as of today. Most likely we'll do it on our own but with advice from others. And about the negative rates tool, you're still prepared to use that uh, in case it's needed? Is it still on the table? It's still, uh, it's, still on the, it's still on the table, but uh, circumstances are different today compared to when we started with a neg negative rate back in 20, uh, 2015, because one needs to be mindful of the fact that we're doing massive QE. Massive QE increase, increases uh, substantially the liquidity overhang in the system, system as a whole, so the issues one would have to grapple with are different now compared to five. Uh, five years ago, but there are no technical impediments for us to go negative again. We've done it, so we know how to do it. And about the extension of the CUBE program, would you agree that you're tracking the ECB and has it to do anything to do with the corona strengthening lately? Uh, no, we, I mean, the corona has not really surfaced as one of the major issues uh, this time at all. I mean, this is in order to support the Swedish economy. And at the same time, we were happy uh, that the corona has been fairly stable in a very, very volatile uh, environment. Uh, but it's, uh, the corona is, is not the, what is driving this, uh, this process. Uh, we want to we ensure that the Swedish credit market works and works well, and that requires a huge liquidity overhang presently. And what happens if your upside scenario turns out to be true? Will you reduce your planned asset purchases, or is, it, is the risk scenario... Uh, rather skewed uh, only towards increasing QE if the economy performs worse than expected? Well, first of all, we can do, we can do more QE if we feel that we have to. Uh, if things were to turn out better, most likely we would stop buying. And then after that, we would uh, most likely hold on to the portfolio or the portfolios that we have accumulated over time. So I really don't see a shrinking balance sheet in the cards for the foreseeable future.